Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a scratch tutorial about the move steps algorithm that scratch, scratch use, uses. The other day I needed this because I was making, we were making a game with some of my friends to, and we, uh, it was kind of like scrolling, kind of, so we needed the move steps algorithm, and I'm not very good at trigonometry, and nobody else has made a video about this, so I'm going to make it. Alright, so take a sign of block, and that's basically uh the that's basically how much the x moves each pixel and i'll I'll get to that later then you want to times that by something like 10 and you're going to want to use cos for the y axis so let me just go get the change y block there it is and now let's go to functions and make a block Let's call it move steps steps okay there we go now we just drag steps into these two things and uh, it works if I grab move 10 steps let's move it in that direction and then if I make it point up here and then it works it is the exact same thing as the regular move 10 steps block Okay, now I'm going to explain to you how it works. So, basically it's a pixely, imagine a pixely line, and then that's the line of the direction you're pointing in. The sign is um, how long each pixel is before it goes up one, or up two, and then cos is the same thing. So imagine a pixely line going almost to the pointing up right, almost pointing that way, but a little bit more up. Then it would be cos, cos would be 4 or something, and then sine would be 1. So it would be change x by 1, and then change y by 4. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, so that's basically how this works, and sadly because of the, because of the algorithm, even though this is the one video that's actually going to help you with the thing you searched up, you're not going to find this video, which is kind of ironic for what the what the algorithm is supposed to do. Anyway, bye.